Hello everybody, my name is Mac Manning. I'm with GW's Military and Veterans Services. I am the program manager for our office. Uh, and today we're gonna be introducing and having a conversation with a really special uh, person and organization. I'm joined here by Chris Beatty, who's with Semper Canine Service Dogs, who is the director and founder of Semper Canine. So thank you very much for joining us. But uh, unfortunately, Chris isn't the star of the show. The star of the show is right here, uh, sitting in front of me. But basically, we're going to have a generalized conversation about um, some of the positive effects of working with some service animals, but also how GW kind of came to the picture of bringing in a facility dog. So thank you very much for joining me, Chris. Um, if you don't mind uh, starting by telling me a little bit about your background and how you ended up starting Semper Canine Service Dogs. Yeah, of course. Um... Uh, so, I'm a military veteran. I uh, spent eight years active duty as a military working dog handler. Um, after my uh, active duty career ended, I um, kind of fell into the assistance dog world, um, partially working with disabled veterans and then uh, children with developmental de delays. Uh, we founded Semper Canine in 2014. Uh, uh, to date, um, we've graduated uh, more than 50 service dog teams. Um, uh, almost all of those going to disabled veterans or their families. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the last couple of years, we've expanded uh, more into the assistance dog realm um, and using some of our some of our dogs that are quite good enough to be service dogs or dogs that are better fitted for jobs as, as facilities dogs or therapy dogs or veteran support dogs, mm -hmm. uh, which is our version of a trained emotional support animal. Yeah. So what are some of the benefits that someone could expect by working with a service animal or a therapy dog or a facility dog? Uh, almost anything. Obviously, you know, the, the emotional affect that comes from uh, greeting, meeting, you know, playing with, with animals, uh, whether it's petting a, an emotional support cat or working with a, an actual service dog or a guide dog. Uh, most of the time, these service animals are trained to perform particular things related to whatever their needs are um, for the disabled veteran or in the case of like Chappie or a therapy dog where the dog's abilities and training is catered towards either providing comfort, um, being attentive to um, a little kid who's reading um, or you know being available to uh, someone who's experienced trauma for them to tell their non their problems to a non-judgmental uh, non uh, individual gotcha. or living being. <laughs> yeah. uh, as well as just the, the opportunities of working with, training a dog, the motion, the movement, the use of the brain, and eye coordination, fine and gross motor skills related to handling and training a, a dog. Okay, so what, um, obviously Chappie right here comes from Semper Canine and he's been through the training process. What is, if you can break down some of the, the life cycle for training a dog, and what, ex what training processes do they go and what vetting process they can be put in that selection process? So in Chappie's case, we evaluated him straight from the shelter, mm -hmm. um, doing a temperament test or doing some kind of a selection evaluation to, to find out, hey, does the dog meet, you know, quote unquote, our criteria for an assistance dog? Mm -hmm. And then they'll go from there, they go into training, depending on what they're being trained for. They go into basic obedience training, they get into advanced, and they go into task-based training. So we take the obedience and the quote unquote commands or tricks that they know, and cater the advanced portion where they're actually picking up objects or maybe they're providing a brace or maybe they understand, hey, the lap command means climb into this person's lap or uh, go visit, meaning go, you know, actually go over and greet and say hello to someone and get engaging someone. Uh, or simple things like just being available and attentive and, and uh, affectionate to someone giving them attention. Mm -hmm. So they can just pet and play and the dog loves it and leans into it um, provides just that affection and love um, for anybody giving attention to it. <laughs> and obviously Chappie's still getting the hang of making sure he stays uh, in place during long periods of time and I think once GW specifically opens back up with the general student body him and I are going to have a lot more practice at that and uh, but for the most part he came and was very much equipped to do sort of the job functions of working with the students and for the short period of time that uh, we had him at the institution before we had to send students home from for COVID restrictions, um, it had a really positive effect on the general community at large. So we appreciate the efforts and the partnership that Semper Canine has provided to GW's Military and Veteran Services Office. Um, so I really want to thank you for joining us today. Um, and if someone wanted to learn more information about Semper Canine and, and service dogs in general, or if they wanted to volunteer, what might uh, avenues they might approach or where would they go to find that information? 
Yeah, of course, we're local to uh, Northern Virginia. Uh, we do work the entire uh, nation. So we have dogs all over the, really all over the country. We have some dogs yeah. abroad as well. Wow. Uh, but our website is SimperKenai.org. Um, we specifically are providing service dogs for disabled veterans and their families. Uh, but organizations, you know, universities or, or a facet that has a veteran population, especially ones that are in need or in crisis or uh, just in general of well, well-being, uh, uh, can visit our website. We do provide, you know, uh, uh, facilities dogs. Um, uh, a lot of, some of our dogs that we bring in that can't quite be service dogs have career changes. Mm -hmm. And George Washington had, had worked with one of our dogs originally that went on to a veteran um, as a veteran support dog. Um, so, um, we do have, sometimes have requests and need for, uh, you know, homes for our career change dogs. Uh, but for the most part, we, we um, do everything we can to, to train the dog to the best of their abilities and place them in a, in a situation that is perfect and they're actually going to be useful yeah. um, versus just a lazy family dog that's going <laughs> to sleep in front of the fire all, yeah. all the time. And one thing that I've, to finish here, I've noticed that like it, it's a lot more um, on the shoulders of the actual veteran and service member when they're working because handling takes a lot of learning to make sure that the dog knows what to do and making sure you're putting them in the best position. So that's for myself, working with Semper Canon has been uh, a, a big factor for making sure that uh, Chappie was up to speed and, and performing his functions as best possible because he knows what he's doing and it's more on me to make sure I put him in a position to be successful. So I really appreciate the help that you guys provided. We are here at Camp Semper Canine, um, which is right outside Quantico, Virginia. Um, and we are doing some annual trainings that we're going to be doing uh, on a monthly, weekly, whatever basis that is required for myself and for Chappie. Uh, but we want to thank Chris and all the staff here at Semper Canine for allowing us to come out and film today. Um, and you guys are going to see some more um, videos of Chappie doing some training, some of the examples that we provide. But also, if you want to see Chappie in person, uh, when school opens back up, we invite you to come to our military community center. Uh, where you can meet and do some therapy sessions with Chappie, but also if it's a situation where you want to learn a little bit more and possibly take him a walk and work with him, we invite you to do that as well. So thank you very much for joining me, Chris. Uh, thank you to all Semper Canine, and thank you to members of the military affiliate community at George Washington University. Mac Manning, Program Manager, signing out.